Hyperlapse, also known as motion time lapse, has become very popular in recent times. If you want to learn how to create one, YouTube is full of variety of hyperlapse tutorials. One thing that is common among all of them is Trusty friend, the warp stabilizer. You are using the power of After Effects using a technique called warp stabilizer. And search for warp stabilizer. Warp stabilizer. You heard it right. The warp stabilizer is a plugin available in Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects and extensively used to stabilize hyperlapse videos with just one click. How cool, right? But there's a problem. After Effects and Premiere are monthly subscription-based paid softwares, and subscription amount is kind of expensive, especially if you're an enthusiast. Economically, it does not make sense. So how to stabilize your hyperlapse footage without using Warp Stabilizer? Watch on to learn. In this tutorial, we will use Fusion from Blackmagic Design. It's a free software that can run on Windows, Mac, and Linux as well. Let's start by opening our hyperlapse image sequence in a new composition. Once opened, drag the clip to the viewer and play the footage. As you can see that the footage is really shaky. I shot this hyperlapse sequence handheld, but if you use a tripod or monopod, you can reduce the amount of unwanted movement to a certain extent. First, let's add a tracker node to our footage. Now find a place in the image which is visible both at the first and the last frame. In this case, a red bulb at the top is visible in both the frames. Add a tracker and place it right on this red bulb. Now let's start tracking this point by clicking on the track forward button. It will take some time for Fusion to complete this task. Tracking is complete now. I can see that the tracker has lost a few tracking points somewhere in the middle, 37th frame to be precise. What needs to be done now is for each frame where the tracker has lost the tracking point, we will have to manually move the tracker and head to the correct position. Let me fix this frame by frame and move the tracker to the correct position where it should belong. Once done, let me play the footage again. As you can see, it still has some amount of movement. To fix this, let me add one more tracking point on the same vertical axis. I will add it to this peacock feather shape at the center of the frame. Repeat the same process again, but please make sure the first tracking point is selected all the time. This will make sure that Fusion will try to stabilize the footage based on the stabilization applied already. We are now done with stabilizing the footage and when I play it back, it is very smooth. Last thing we need to do is to fit the clip to the frame size. This is done by adding a transform node and increasing the size to fit the footage. I have set it to 1 is to 1 in this case. Now render out this footage by adding a saver node. After choosing all required parameters, click on the green render button at the bottom and click on start render. This is the rendered footage. It is smooth and completely stable. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel to get notification on more such videos and tutorials. Thank you.